so we have been in Osaka the past few days. It's been amazing. And today we will actually be speaking at a university. We we're invited to speak in a classroom about death and religion, but we're gonna be sharing about Christianity and we're believing God to touch and impact the hearts of the youth here. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> to eat the fruit and then everybody started to uh, and anybody that was born from Adam they would also die they would also sin but other parts say that we are with God um, so there's a little bit of um, uncertainty there but uh, most Christians Today was powerful. We're now at a place called Family Mart. He's chilling. Um, we're waiting until 7 p.m. because one of the people in the class wants to meet up with us. But it was amazing and we're believing God that uh, some of these people will actually want to go to America and travel with our group. Some of them were saying, yeah, we want to go, we want to go. So we're going to see if we can set up an internship for them. And uh, I was sharing my testimony to one of the groups. It was powerful. They had a lot of questions. But uh, I was really just putting the word in them, showing them that Jesus is the only way to heaven and that he's not just for Americans, Europeans, but he's for the, all people. And that includes the Japanese. So it was powerful and we believe many, many people are, uh, from that class and from that school are gonna get saved. They're gonna get saved in Jesus' name. Not to To give her peace about her life and show her what she needs to do about university. Show her what she's supposed to do. So we just finished our meeting with these two girls. First, we were talking about them going to America. Then we switched it up, started talking about Jesus. They were reading Bible verses, scriptures. We were sharing it with them about worry and anxiety and how Jesus comes and lifts these things off of them. They received Jesus after a long time of talking to them about it. They prayed a prayer. And while they were reading the word, they were saying they felt lighter. And then the girl said, I feel power. I feel power. And it was the power of the Holy Spirit, obviously. And they completely got set free. We prayed another prayer for them for some things they were dealing with. And man, Japan. Oh my goodness. The Lord not only did that, but he confirmed it with signs following. Two yes. wonderful signs. The Holy Spirit started giving us words of knowledge. And we started to speak to them the things that the Lord was showing us. And they were like, oh, 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 wow, wow, wow. And they weren't necessarily freaked out like you would think they were, but 
this was the Holy Spirit and they received it with gladness and joy and that was a true conversion they truly received the Lord with signs following and so we're so grateful for Jesus we give God all the glory and we're so grateful for this wonderful testimony and you don't have to lay hands on people for them to receive the Holy Spirit as we're just talking they were filled with the Holy Spirit yes, right there and then you don't have to go and lay hands on people that's what happened we thought when God was speaking to us for them to be baptized, we thought we had to lay hands on them, but no. All we had to do was share the word of God, and they believed it. Once they believed it, the Holy Spirit came, because the Holy Spirit is the one that carried the word. She said, what I heard about the love and the story of God's love, I believed. She said, I believe. And then out of her mouth, she made confession. And she was saved. They she were saved, saved, too. This is big, y'all. This is big for In Japan. Japan. This is In big. Japan. In Japan. And they're ready to go to church. They're ready. And we're going to send them even to America. So wow. this is awesome. Jesus is wonderful. Woo! How do you feel? Amazing. Some people just got saved. Yeah. Are we going to continue to pray for you? Are you going to continue to be saved? Yeah, check it. Check out some. A little gloomy, a little dark, a little rainy. But under Jesus, under Jesus' umbrella, it's light and bright and shining. In Jesus' name. This is like a I love him. I promise I love him.